History repeats itself. History is always happening over and over again. So one of the ways to stop a theme, one of the ways to stop something from reoccurring is to first of all admit it. It didn't take long for us to quickly realize that there was power behind Mission 22, power behind its brand, power behind its message, and power behind its people that represented it. All right, my friends, day 19 of 22, of the 22-day push-up challenge. Day 19 means 418 men and women have possibly committed suicide in the last 19 days. I went and looked up my shift, the USS Rushmore. More people who have killed themselves by now than ever served on our ship at one time in just 19 days. 19, 20, 21, one more. Y'all ready for the last one? Yeah, Mission 22 has become uh, a decentralized nationwide effort to show love, to raise money, to be available for other warriors, to be able to be a point of contact, to let the warriors know, but also for warriors to let other warriors know that there is a community, you're not alone, this isn't happening in silence, you're, you're not forgotten. You know, we brought four veterans from all different parts of the United States and brought them together to hike through the state of Oregon. May God bless you on your journey. Thank you for serving our country and for being willing to go on this walk. I'm praying you feel peace and strength with each mile. You know, on this hike, some folks found God, some folks remained sober, some folks lost a significant amount of weight to be able to participate. And not all, so much just a healing walk for us as warriors, but for us to contribute to other people's healing. You know, this, this hike, we raised $12,000 for endobiogeny. Some of the folks on this hike, you know, they're gonna be volunteers for this treatment. And I couldn't be more pleased and more proud because it was a difficult. We had a lot of struggles. Um, not everything on this hike went pretty, you know, but we put some skin in the game. At the end of the day, we were able to raise money and we'll be able to use that money so guys can get the treatment that they need. The War at Home Monument is an example of our, is our, of our social impact, of our awareness, of our permanent fixture to do the work that we can't always do, to always remind us of what we've lost and what we will lose if we don't reconcile it. And what we've done is taken 20 different veterans with their family's permission and used them as a silhouette to cut out a 3,000 pound plate of steel. These warriors are placed in a V and this is to show the size of the problem. This is to show the empty space they leave behind. And it's also to be a constant reminder of what happens when we don't listen to the stories of the warriors that fought in our name. Because it's not okay. It's not okay that everyone didn't know about veteran suicide. It's not okay that these things were a secret or left unsaid or that it was shameful. It's not okay that it's shameful to suffer alone and suffer in silence because if you ask for help that you're no longer a warrior, that you're weak. Yeah. So I come back and like I thought everybody else changed. So I pushed my family away. And it took a long time to really realize it because I didn't want to look internally. You know, I just, I got my class A CDL and hit the road. I was on the road for about eight years trucking. And, uh, this makes me think about how insignificant all of the major things going on are. I mean, what, a million years ago, that blew up. And, uh, you know, over time became this. Whether it's hiking mountains or building monuments, it takes a community to heal a warrior. Warriors didn't get damaged and didn't become separated from the sunlight of the spirit on their own. It happened in the name of this nation. We can change the way we think about war, how we think about warriors, how we think about ourselves, and what we think we're going to do in the American community. We can do it now. We can do it here. And there's going to be another generation of warriors coming. We can set the tone to create a culture that grabs them up and loves them and smothers them and resources and opportunity right now. History. One, two, Let's get to see you.
My love is a river long, the best ride in a million rounds. I know I'm coming back to you, and I'm happy. Nothing's going to stop me.
Welcome back. It is Wednesday night. We are here at uh, USA uh, with the 305 Sprint Cars. It is a special night. We got a lot going on tonight. Uh, we got the 305s at USA. We got the wingless 360s uh, at, trying to remember, Williams Grove. And then we're back here for the 410s. Uh, special night. Uh, we're here to honor one of our own getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. We will talk more about that here momentarily. Yeah, Joe, go ahead. Um, whenever Sir Buke, I'm going to wait till one of those, that's fine. Again, thank you for spending your Wednesday with us. Icon Sim Sports Veterans and First Responders Night. We are, uh, this is the Veterans and First Responders portion. Uh, the 305 Sprint Cars here at USA. We are getting ready to go qualifying. Again, it's a uh, special night here at uh, Coast to Coast Racing League. As one of our own gets inducted into the Hall of Fame, we'll get a chance to talk to him uh, during warm-ups before the feature. So uh, that'll be exciting. Can't wait for that. Out on the track, we got Mr. Bob the Good in the 7 uh, Air Force machine uh, giving it a go around uh, USA. Big, long track. Looking for another outstanding night. The points, uh, as in most divisions, are super tight up front. Andy Patton currently leading the veterans and first responders with 648 points. Jeff Barker, who is also in the field tonight, is only seven points behind with 641 points. So Mr. Barker and uh, Mr. Patton have been battling it out all season long. Go with the 223 car. Ryan Pendleton at the top of the board with a 2293 active duty navy driver ryan uh from goat locker racing he's missed the last couple weeks good to see ryan back out with us again that's a 20 533 so his best time is 2293 andy Patton, jeff barker are two and three so leave it to your uh front two and the points to time in Patrick Spangler now to the top of the board with a 22.72. He has wrapped up his uh, run. We tried to go back with him. Uh, 22.72. Ryan Pendleton in second. Patton Barker in third and fourth. Bob the Good, Chris Schaefer, Michael Vital in the field. And Dean Metzler in the eight car is new to uh, Veterans of First Responders Night. Dean, welcome to the show, my friend. It's uh, good to have you aboard. Thank you for your service. Looks like we have wrapped up qualifying. We are getting ready to go heat racing. Looks like we should only have one heat, maybe two. They may split it into two. I'm not real sure. Uh, we got a special treat coming up during warm-ups right before the feature. So uh, stay tuned for that for sure. And uh, following this, we have the 360s, uh, wingless 360s again at Williams Grove. Then we're back here for the 410 division. Again, this night, uh, Veterans and First Responders brought to you by Icon Sim Sports. Coast to Coast Racing League puts on the 305 Veterans and First Responders portion of that. We got a couple of announcements. Don't forget, coming up on the uh, 26th, we have the third annual Toilet Bowl 100. Uh, this is. Uh, in memory of Wayne Piercefield, one of our own, uh, one of our own sponsors, uh, his dad. So we will talk more about that coming up as we get ready here to take the grid for heat number one. Heat number one, we got Michael Vital on the front row in the 213 machine. So we got Air Force front row with Vital and Bob the Good to his outside. 
Andy Patton in the Air Force car. So we got three Air Force cars in the first heat. I'd like to thank the 213 machine flying the Got Your Six Racing Network logo on board. Michael, appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Again, everything we do at uh, Got Your Six Racing Network is uh, on behalf of veterans, those that have come back less fortunate than myself that are battling with uh, PTSD and veteran suicide. 22 veterans a day take their own lives. We are racing for awareness. We play uh, promos throughout the night of various organizations that are trying to lower that number to zero. So we're doing our small part. If you know a veteran out there, reach out. Let them know you're thinking about them. Michael Vital in the 213 in the Air Force machine will bring us to the green flag. Got the Air Force 7 car on his outside. The Air Force 87 starting P3. Green flag is out. We are underway. Vital down low. Bob the Good on the high side in the 7 machine. Points leader Andy Patton uh, in line behind me. 213 down low. No one able to move from their starting positions. Patton, he's going to throw it in there. Give Andy Patton P2, your points leader, not holding back tonight. Got Bob the Good to his outside now. Patrick Spangler in the 051 car, currently in the third position. So just when you thought the 87 of Andy Patton might play it safe, he throws it in there next to the 213. Patton now up high. Got uh, Patrick Spangler down low. Go on board with Patrick Spangler to see what he sees. Looks like they are side by side. Just on the very edge of the grass there. Looks like Spangler will take over uh, P1. They are still side by side. Not giving that up yet. In the back with Michael Vital, you can see uh, the field of four drivers. Spangler did take over the uh, point here on the 87 car of Andy Patton. Both running a similar line. Andy Patton gets a good run down low, runs a little bit lower on entry. Spangler in the 051 machine out front leading the way. We are working laps six of six, one to go. Bob the Good currently in three. Looks like the battle is going to be for the lead. Andy Patton in the 87 machine. Patrick Spangler ever so slightly extending his lead over the 87 car. Your points leader, Andy Patton. One more corner. 051 to the line. Sideways at the line. Spangler, Patton, the good Vital is how they will transfer into the feature. P2, Dean Metzler, Chris Schaefer on the front row. Jeff Barker, Ryan Pendleton are in row number two. Again, keep an eye on the 513 car, the Marine machine of Jeff Barker, currently uh, second in the points by a slim seven-point deficit to Andy Patton. Chris Schaefer in the 23 machine, Black Bullet Racing Elite. As previously mentioned, Dean Metzler, out of Pennsylvania drivers new to the show, just got in the, today, actually. Barker will roll off P3, the 223 of Ryan Pendleton in Goat Locker Racing Machine. Has been super fast. Uh, he's missed the last few weeks. It will be Metzler that brings us to the green flag. We got six laps to get this done. Everyone heading to the feature. Pace car should exit this time by, and it does. Dean will bring us to the green flag. Green flag is out. We are underway. Looks like Ryan Pendleton, he snuck through that back row. Schaefer didn't get a real good start. He's making, or Metzler didn't get a real good start. He's making up for it. Schaefer to the outside of the 23 of Metzler.
Pendleton, Schaefer, Metzler, Jeff Barker in the two thirteen or five thirteen machine. My apologies. Up front, Pendleton pulling away from the field a little bit. Chris Schaefer in the twenty three trying to close that gap. Looks like Chris Schaefer's running a little higher line than uh, Pendleton there, trying to get a run off that higher side. Pendleton working the bottom. There is your field of four drivers. We're uh, above the 513 Marine Machine as he pulls up alongside Dean Metzler in the 49 Machine. Gets up on the grass a little bit there. Out front, Ryan Pendleton pulling away from the field. There's your battle for one and two. We are working lap five of six. We will be coming to one to go. Ryan Pendleton showing his dominance with the 223 machine. Chris Schaefer second. Metzler in third. Jeff Barker now is trying to get a run off that bottom side. Coming to one to go. Ryan Pendleton set and sell out front. The Navy driver. Chris Schaefer, a volunteer firefighter, running in P2. Barker closes in on the tail end of the uh, 49 car at the end. Pendleton, Schaefer, Metzler. We will have three minutes of warm-up, and coming up, we have a very special treat. And it is my uh, pleasure to introduce and talk to Terry Landis. Terry, this is Joe. You got me? Yeah, Joe, go ahead. Man, congratulations on your induction into the Hall of Fame, Coast-to-Coast uh, -Coast Hall of Fame. So uh, what I'm interested in, I've watched you run ever since I've been in the league, man. How did that all start? I, I would imagine it was G-Force. How did you find the league? So I was looking for another league and found this one, and it seemed like you know a great bunch of guys, and I just hung out, and here we are. Yeah, man, battling for a championship. So uh, since I've been on board, which isn't a whole whole lot of time, uh, battling for championships, uh, it's just been an amazing thing to uh, to watch you do what you do, and uh, kind of rare for a California guy like myself. Uh, to be out on the dirt track here. It seems like that's a dying art out here on the on the West Coast. But, uh, yeah, man, great congratulations to you. Uh, that, that is absolutely fabulous. Uh, who helped you along the way? What was your biggest influence in uh, – were you always running up front or did it take a while? It took a while. You know, I, I run from mid-pack to the front. Um, but yeah, I wasn't fast straight off, you know, right onto I racing. It just, you know, hammering, hammering the wheels coming up through the uh, official races. You know, that's where you you get your experience. Yeah, and then you find league racing, and uh, I think uh, probably a similar situation where uh, we our team came from officials, as does everybody, and just found it very welcoming. And uh, you settled in. I remember we used to celebrate a tenth place finish, and that was good for us. But uh, now, man, it's fun to watch you up front. You are somewhat of a wingless uh, expert out there. Um, so, again, man, congratulations to your uh, induction into the Hall of Fame. Well, we will be playing a video throughout the night. Uh, so, man, congratulations, and that's great to see. Hey, Joe, uh, much appreciated for you and for doing what you do. And then to Roger for keeping his keeping his wits about him. I mean, this league is like, you know, it's, it's really big. I don't think there's any other league out there. that does like a, uh, a terrorist system, like, like, uh, coast to coast does. So I just want to ask off to those guys for keeping it going for all these years. And, and then to all you racers out there, uh, you know, all the donations that, that this league gives, that's, that's really just shows the heart of the league. Yeah, man, and now you are a forever permanent part of that, and uh, your name will be etched in stone, man, and that, that just makes me smile. It makes me happy, and uh, congratulations, my brother. Thanks, Joe. Yes, much appreciated. We're going to see you out there mixing it up tonight. 
Oh yeah, um, yeah, Preston did some crazy thing with the paint, so it's gonna be a pretty show. <laughs> Racers will race, man. Congratulations. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, man, good luck. So there is the latest uh, inductee into the Hall of Fame for the Coast to Coast Racing League. We have rolled over to the feature with Patrick Spangler, Ryan Pendleton on the front row, Andy Patton, Chris Schaefer in row two, Bob the Good, Metzler in three, Michael Vital, and Jeff Barker starts at the tail end of the field. Not a great place for Barker to start. We will see how that plays out. Your points leader, Andy Patton, by a slim seven points, will roll off P3. But it will be uh, Patrick Spangler who brings us to the green flag with Goat Locker Racing's uh, Ryan Pendleton in the 223. Yeah, that was a pleasure talking to Terry Landis during the break. What a super guy. And... Uh, couldn't happen to a better guy. Enjoyed watching him run uh, ever since I've been in the league. So that's, man, that's super special. That's cool stuff. We have 30 laps to get this done in the 305 sprint cars here at USA. You can see that bottom lane start to wear just ever so slightly. Uh, it looks like that slider line is wide open, however. If you look into the corner, it is slick going in, but uh, you got kind of a lot of grip on the exit of the corner. So we will see how this plays out as your points leader rolls off P3 and second in the points. Jeff Barker and the 513 Marine Machine will roll off P8. Pace truck is or pace car is off. We are getting ready to go green here. The 051 of Spangler down low. Ryan Pendleton on that outside. The 223 trying to get a run off the high side. Chris Schaefer covers P3. Andy Patton now slides back to P4. Jeff Barker uh, moves up one position, gets in front of the 213 of Vital. Now he's outside of the Air Force car of Bob the Good. Barker uh, trying to make his way up through the field, pulling up on the rear bumper of the 49 car of Metzler. As Andy Patton currently runs in P4. One car between uh, Patton, who's leading the points, and Barker, who is second in the points. Patton trying to get that 87 Air Force ride underneath the 051 for P3. Put that uh, car on the podium. He goes through the slick, dives right through it. Up front, Pendleton leading the way. Chris Schaefer in second. Pendleton with almost a half second gap. Go on board with Chris Schaefer as he tries to track down your leader. Big, long straightaways here at USA. Looks like he is. Uh, thought he was closing in there for a minute, but it's still stay uh, the lead stays steady. At about uh, half second there. Front four, nose to tail. Looking above the 87 car, your points leader, Mr. Bob the Good behind him in the seven machine. You can see the gap there from fifth to fourth. Jeff Barker now fell back to uh, P7. Check in on Barker in the 513 right. Pulls up on the rear tank of the uh, 49 machine up front. Ryan Pennell looks like uh, Andy Patton tried to make a move. Look down low underneath Patrick Spangler. Those two have battled it out. 
Patton can't get much drive off that bottom side. We are working lap of 8 of 30, so we do have a ways to go. Lock can happen. Look back at the 87 car, your points leader currently running in uh, P4. Gets up into the wall. Definitely won't help that 87 machine. Bob DeGood still able to hold off Metzler in the 513 of Barker. Now Barker's trying to get involved, trying to move up through the field. We'll go on board with Barker. He closes in on the 49 car of Metzler. Looks like everyone has moved to the high side. Barker off the gas there, not run into the back of Dean Metzler. Waiting for the 513 to throw it down low. He will go underneath the 49. Will he make it stick? Parker on the bottom. Just can't get any grip off that bottom side. Meanwhile, up front, Pendleton with over a half second gap over Chris Schaefer. Chris Schaefer about to be under attack from the 051 of Patrick Spangler, Team SSR. Spangler to the inside has the advantage. He will slide up. Schaefer will try a crossover. They are wing to wing in the back stretch. Spangler slides way up high, or Schaefer slides way up high. Spangler capitalizes, dives down low, slides underneath the 23 machine. Team SSR and BBR battling it out for P2. Andy Patton in the fourth position, watching, waiting for his opportunity to get by these two drivers. Bob the Good now, he's closing up the gap a little bit. Bob currently in the fifth position. Working lap 16 of 30. Field is a bit spread out, except for Spangler and Schaefer battling it out. Looks like Spangler bumped the wall there a little bit. Will that be enough for Black Bullet Racing's 23 machine of Patrick Spangler? Or uh, Chris Schaefer, my apologies, to capitalize. He does close in on the back. Andy Patton. Staying consistent in fourth position, protecting his uh, points lead. Parker has now fell back to the uh, rear of the field. Michael Vital makes the pass for P7, 513 in the back. We have one more race after this to get it done. Barker dives down low in the 513. Up front over a second lead for uh, Pendleton. Spangler P2, Schaefer P3. Andy Patton running a smart race back in fourth position. Doesn't have to push that Air Force 87 hard as his uh, closest competitor, Jeff Barker's back in eighth position. We are running lap 20 of 30. Patton tries the bottom side briefly. You see the lead Pendleton has. It's a uh, just under a second now. They may be closing in. Patton trying that bottom side. Seeing if there's something down low. Most cars are up high by this time.
Patton dives the 87 card down low once again in turn three and four. He moves up even. Schaefer is able to get a run on that high side and hold on to P3. Andy Patton back to the bottom. Not quite enough momentum to get up in front of the 23 machine, but they are going to battle it out side by side. There he did. Squeezed his way in on that top side. Schaefer will try to return the favor. Thinks better of it. Backs out. Schaefer back to P4. Your points leader now in a podium position. Wait until lap 24 of 30. Is it go time for the 87? Jeff Barker now up to sixth position. He's moved up two. He was at the tail end of the field. See if the 513 car can get it done. Go on board with your points leader in the Air Force machine. Looking at the rear tail tank of the 051 of Spangler. Now Spangler takes it down low. He's going to try that low side. He closed a huge gap. Pendleton had over a second gap on second place Spangler. All of a sudden, the 051 cars on the rear tail tank of the 223. This may turn out to be a great race. Looks like uh, Spangler really picked up the pace on that bottom side. Spangler going for the lead. Pendleton on the outside. Spangler down low. Spangler will slide up. Put Spangler at the point. On lap 28 of 30. Pendleton in back to P2. Looks like Spangler found something because he took off. He was battling it out with the 87, and he didn't waste any time making up that one-second gap on the uh, leader, Pendleton, and set sail. Patrick Spangler, Team SSR driver. Pendleton in second. Andy Patton, your points leader, in third. Schaefer in fourth. Bob the Good in the Air Force 7 machine in fifth. Jeff Barker has moved up to P6. Metzler and Michael Vital at the back of the field in the 49 and 113. Spangler, Pendleton, Patton are your three podium finishers. We will get a word with them here momentarily. Patrick Spangler coming from nowhere. Closed the gap, was uh, behind the leader by over a second. Battling out with the 87, when you look up uh, the 051, was battling for that lead and didn't waste much time getting that done. So great run by Patrick Spangler. Your points leader, Andy Patton, will finish in uh, P3. Jeff Barker in P6, so Patton should extend his lead a little bit here. We will get a word with your points leader, the 87 car of Andy Patton here momentarily uh andy this is joe you got me andy i got you oh sorry man hey great run uh kind of just uh it's a podium another podium you extended your points lead there a little bit i don't know if you're watching jeff uh jeff barker fell back to the tail end of the field and then worked his way back up uh great run by you man good night uh extend your points lead a little bit how'd it feel from the seat i'll take it I mean, this is a fast track, and it gets to be one lane there. It opened up to two towards the end, where uh, Patrick and I both went to the bottom, made up a little bit of time. Yeah, Pendleton had over a second uh, lead there on both of you, and, man, you guys tracked him down in a big hurry. So I think uh, switching to the bottom, he stayed up high. I think switching to the bottom really made the difference. Uh, so great podium finish, man. Uh, you got anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, just you guys, you know, I mean, you do a terrific job. Same thing I say every time, uh, you know, this Veterans League is kind of special to me. I, I, I enjoy racing it, even though they're small numbers. It's always good racing, you know, um, C2C for, for their association in this league. And, uh, you know, 
it's uh and everybody i appreciate it man Thanks. yeah man uh, so when you make that move from pennsylvania i'm still looking forward to that beer it uh <laughs> i'm not gonna let next that year one go. buddy yeah i i gotta get to the to kentucky here uh within the next year man and love to uh buy you a beer and and chat in real life so uh great run by you my friend and uh we're gonna see you in the wingless and the four tenths no probably not probably not maybe the four tens definitely not the wingless all right man great run by the 87 air force machine again thank you as always for your service and uh we'll catch you next time all right thanks joe yes sir 39 of Patrick Spangler was battling it out for P3 with the 87 car there. Lap after lap after lap as the 223 of Pendleton pulled away from the field. And next thing you look up and uh, Spangler is making the pass. Patrick, this is Joe. You got me? Yeah, I got you. Man, that was, that was pretty cool. Uh, I, I thought it was, that was it. I thought it was going to be between you and Andy battling it out for a second. And I uh, went back in the field to look at a couple cards. When I came back, you were battling for the lead, man. What made the difference? He had over a second gap on you and uh, Patton. So how'd you close that gap? So Patton pulled below me. I come out of four of the one lap, and I was like, man, pretty quick, because I don't think he was that close. And then so I tried the next lap, and I think I gained like seven-tenths on the leader. It was super fast on the bottom towards the end. Yeah, everyone was up high there for a long while. Andy was the only one down low, but uh, you two changed your line, man, and, boy, it made a huge difference. You put the uh, the uh, 051 car uh, on the po on the uh, in victory lane, which is awesome to see, man. Uh, you got anybody you'd like to thank for your victory? Just uh, Team SSR for bringing me in and uh, just having a good team. Uh, you for broadcasting and everything you do for the Coast Coast League and iRacing and Roger for putting on the league and uh, Roger for doing the Veterans League too. It's pretty fun. Yeah, man. We're going to see you in the wingless sprints at uh, Williams Grove 360s and then uh, 410s back here or are you done for the night? I think my manager's coming down so she wants to watch a movie or something so I'm probably done for the night. <laughs> <laughs> i think we all have one of those managers man great run by you my friend congratulations on the victory and uh if we don't see you later tonight we will see you uh next week yep have a good yep, night sounds good thanks yes sir so there you have it there is the uh veterans and first responders race for uh this wednesday night this race was brought to you by coast to coast racing link in my personal opinion, there is no racing league out there better than Coast to Coast. We have tried other racing leagues, and uh, when we came on board with Coast to Coast Racing League, they make you feel very welcome. It's a very well-run league. They don't put up with a lot of uh, a lot of the nonsense that goes on other leagues, uh, racing without all the drama that uh, you catch, catch in other leagues. You can find information on Coast to Coast at C2CRL. Dot com and with that we will take a quick break and we will get to watch uh the hall of fame uh video of terry landis and we will see this numerous times tonight but it is my pleasure to present to you the uh the video for his induction into the hall of fame great chat with terry earlier uh this evening so thanks for tuning in uh spending your wednesday with us and we will be right back <laughs> Good day, Roger Craig here from the Coast to Coast Racing League and uh, just wanted to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate uh, Terry Landis on his induction into the Hall of Fame. Uh, so well deserved. Terry was our, our first champion in the first season of our league. He's been a great ambassador for the league, always willing to help out whenever asked and uh, can't be happier enough for uh, an individual. So uh, enjoy your night, buddy. Uh, and uh, good luck uh, taking on all competition with that wingless 360 at, at the Grove. I just wanted to take a minute to uh, acknowledge my teammate, Terry Landis. I know it's your Hall of Fame night, so uh, congratulations. I know uh, you, you really deserve this. 
I know you spend a lot of time, you know, practicing and all those different things, but more than anything, you've taken a lot of time to help other drivers and help your teammates and just generally be a fun guy to be around in our league. And everybody really appreciates you. So uh, from our team and the league and just all the other drivers, we just wanted to say thank you. So congratulations, buddy. Hey, Terry, G-Man here. I just want to congratulate you on your entry into the Hall of Fame. You're a great racer, a great help on the track. You've helped me uh, a lot of times. So again, just congratulations. Take care, man. Congratulations, Terry. May your midget be always fast and your bus be in the shape of the infield tractor tire. Good luck and congrats on Gary Bill Falder here. I just want to congratulate you on your induction into the Coast Coast Racing League Hall of Fame. Because nobody deserves it more than you, my friends. You've been a good teammate, a great friend, and you're always willing to help whenever you're asked. Uh, there's no one that can run that inside lane better than you, my friend. You, you wrote the book on it, and many have tried, but uh, you own it. There's nobody who's ever going to surpass you and your ability there. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Um, congratulations and uh, much love. Congratulations, Terry. You earned it, big dog. I'm from uh, Gambler Motorsports. Uh, congratulations on your Hall of Fame induction, buddy. A uh, very cool thing to have happen for you. Uh, we're all excited for you and uh, well deserved. And, uh, you know, one of our first champions in C2C, uh, you paved the way for guys like me to come into the league and be a part of it. So thank you for that. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the track. Hey, Terry. Congrats on being inducted to the Coast to Coast Hall of Fame. Definitely deserve it. I uh, just want to hop on here and say thanks for helping me out whenever I hop in the midget. Uh, I know I'm learning from the best. So, uh, I'm coming for you, though, this Wednesday, non-lane. 360s at the Grove. Uh, I know you're going to be fast, but uh, I'm still coming for you, man. I uh, just wanted to say congrats again, man. Definitely deserved it. Welcome back. We are at the Wingless Sprint Cars, the 360s here at uh, Williams Grove. Great tribute to Terry Landis as he gets inducted into the Hall of Fame for the Coast to Coast Racing League. We will see Terry Landis, who is currently leading in the points. With a sizable lead over Jeffrey Barker in second position. So uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame. And uh, leading in the points in the wingless sprint cars. Terry was a runner-up last year to Jack Hit in the wingless division. Uh, we can't wait to see that paint scheme that the 61 car has on board. We will get to see that here momentarily. We are getting ready to advance to qualifying here. Drivers getting their last bit of instruction from race control. Tight corners at Williams Grove is going to be a challenge for the wingless 360 sprint cars. Gain a lot of momentum down the front and back stretch as you see there. Jack Clevenger on his lid all the way down the front stretch. Speaking of the 061, the Yoohoo machine of Terry Landis, your Hall of Fame inductee in the uh, 061 machine. Throwing it around here at Williams Grove. We should be uh, going to qualify here anytime. Super tight corners. This will be interesting how uh, drivers enter the corners here. I think that's going to make the difference into the drive off of the corners. 
Again, Terry Landis leading in the points. Uh, got about a 50, 70 point lead over second place Jeffrey Barker in the 513. Brandon Templeton, Bob the Good, Jack Hit round out your top five. Jack Hit, Bob the Good in a dead heat, 504 each. We will follow Terry Landis on his qualifying lap. We will go on board with your Hall of Fame inductee. See how it's done? The Kreitz Sim Racing driver slides way up high at the entrance of one. It's a good run down low. Brandon Templeton with a 19768. We will see how Terry Landis coming to the flag stand. Second quick, 19929 for Landis. Blake Chapman in the 20 machine. A tribute to Terry Landis also running the Yoohoo machine, the 20 tonight. In honor of Terry Landis's uh, induction, Blake Chapman good for fourth quick with a 19.880. Brandon Templeton at the top of the board with a 19.768. Steven Spees to second. Terry Landis will fall to third quick. Dan McLaren, uh, see if Dan is on the track and he is. Dan good for sixth quick. Mike Cramner in the 70 machine, currently 11th quick, wrapping up his uh, qualifying attempt. Kevin Fry, the firm racing driver out of Texas in the 21 machine. Gonna give the wingless sprint cars a go. He's coming to the green flag. See how the 21 uh, fares here. Up into the wall for the 21 machine. Preston Cramner in also a tribute car to your Hall of Fame driver, Terry Landis. He's got the Strawberry Yoohoo on board. The 07 car or the 7 car, my apologies, of Preston Cramner. Currently 7 quick with a 20, 185, 20, 185 for Preston Cramner. Tyler Wilson in the uh, 042 machine just wrapping up with a 2265. That will do it for qualifying. We are ready for heat racing. John Short, Preston Cramner on the front row. Blake Chapman, Brandon Templeton in row two. Mike Cramner, Michael Vital in row three is how they will roll off. Coast to Coast Racing League does invert the top four. So your quick time driver, Brandon Templeton, will roll off the grid P4, currently third in the points. Waiting for John Short to grid. Got a couple of you who cars in the field. Preston Cramner starting on the outside of pole, and Blake Chapman will start P3. John Short also with the Yuhu on board. The 51 machine will bring us to the green flag. Got eight laps to get it done. Top four heading to the feature. Everyone should make the feature tonight. Look here at Williams Grove. It will be the 51 of short that brings us to the green flag. Yoohoo cars, one, two, and three.
getting ready to go green we will uh john short will bring us to the green flag Preston Cramner with your quick or uh Brandon Templeton with your quick time in the 31 machine currently has a 32 point lead over Bob the Good and he is looks like 12 points in behind Barker so Brandon Templeton looking for a good night in the 31 uh dirt track bank machine Green flag is out. Got eight laps to get it done. Again, top four heading directly to the feature. However, again, everyone will head to the feature. Preston Cramner, John Short gets out to a lead. Preston Cramner on the outside. Three Yahoo, Yoohoo cars at the front of the field. Short, Chapman, and Cramner. Go on board with Preston Cramner in the 07 machine as he works down low, trying to get underneath the 20 car of Chapman. It's like John Short up into that outside wall. Blake Chapman taking advantage. Preston Cramner, Chapman gonna battle it out down the Chapman into the wall into the 31 car. Templeton is able to drive through it. We'll obviously get penalty points for that. Up front, Blake Chapman leading away. Vital in the 213 machine. Back in P4, Mike Cramner in five. Chapman now with over a uh, right at a second gap between himself and John Short. Brandon Templeton currently in the third position. There's a look at your top three spread out here. Templeton trying that low side. Makes up a lot of ground on Short, who slid up high in turn four. Templeton able to close that gap a little bit. You can see uh, Chapman up there working away from the field. Put the 31 up to P2. Short bat to P3. Michael Vital somewhat a ways behind the field in the 213 machine. Looks like the battle's going to be up here. Blake Chapman running away from the field, currently a 1.4 second lead over Brandon Templeton. Working lap seven of eight. Blake Chapman coming off a of turn four in the Yoo-Hoo number 20. Pratt Sim Racing Rig. Brandon Templeton back, closing the gap a little bit, down to 1.3 seconds. One lap to go. Blake Chapman at the front of the field. Chapman will win the heat. Brandon Templeton, P2. Short, P3. Michael Cramner and uh, Michael Vital will battle it out. It will be Mike Cramner at the line in the 70 machine, followed by the 213. P2, Jeff Barker, Tyler Wilson on the front row. Jack Clevenger, Steven Spees in row two. Bob the Good, Josh Gerlock in the third and final row. So Jeff Barker looking to uh, make up some points here uh, to, on the night. We'll start on the pole in the 513 Malcolm's Mills mill riding machine. Tyler Wilson to his outside. Got eight laps to get it done. Again, the field was inverted. So your quick qualifier, the 78 car of Clevenger, I believe. No, it'll actually be the 15, 55 car of Steven Spees was your quick qualifier in this heat. See if uh, Steven can work his way up through the field here, but it will be uh, second in the points. 
Jeff Barker. That will bring us to the green flag next time by. Looks like that track is starting to slicken up. Won't make this task any easier for the drivers. Can-Am Racing Team driver Barker again will bring us to the green flag. Eight, eight laps to get it done. Pace truck is off. We are making our long crawl to the uh, flag stand here. Tyler Wilson on the outside of the 513 car. Green flag is out. We are underway. Great start by Wilson on that high side. Steven Spees makes contact with Barker. Spees is going to follow the 042 car put Spees up into P2. Jack Clevenger, P3. Barker falls back to P4. They are side-by-side side for the lead. Spees down low trying to get underneath the 042 of Tyler Wilson. Can he get some grip on that bottom side? Looks like he can. Throws the 55 sideways. Slight contact made. Spees to the point. Bringing 78 of Clevenger with him. Gambler Motorsports driver, the 55 of Steven Spees is at the point. Jack Clevenger giving it all uh, he's got. Slid up right behind the 55 car. You can hear Jack working that throttle, trying to work up to uh, Spees in the 55. Stays up high, trying to get a run down low. There are your top three. We are riding along with the 042 of Clevenger. Barker fell back to four and has stabilized in that position. Steven Spees in the 78 machine. Now, uh, or Spees in the 55 has opened up over a second gap, over second place Clevenger. Clevenger closed that down a little bit that time by. Spees in the front. See the drivers throw the car sideways into these tight corners here. We got one lap to go. Speeds at the point in the 55 with a point a half second, half second gap over uh, Jack Clevenger. Jeff Barker in P4. Looks like Speeds in the 55 will take the victory. Followed by Clevenger. Tyler Wilson fell off the pace. He will finish P3. Jeffrey Barker will finish P4. Heat three, Jack hit, Jeff Falaro on the front row, Dan McLaren, Terry Landis on row number two. Kevin Fry rounds out your field of five drivers. So we are expecting a special paint job on the uh, 061 of, or 161 of Terry Landis for his uh, Hall of Fame induction. And it seems like uh, the rest of the fellas painted their cars to match his. So, uh, great camaraderie in Coast to Coast Racing League. Jack Hitt and the 217 will roll off from the point. Again, Terry Landis was the quick qualifier of this heat. Starts P4. We will get the one to go this time by. 
Jack hit, moved up three positions in the points last week, moved up to uh, P4 in a dead heat with the seven of Bob the Good with 504 points each. Jack run into a little bit of uh, troubles earlier in the season. He was last season's wingless champion, finishing in front of the 161 of Landis. Has not had the luck so far this year. Got the 200 car of Jeff Falero to his outside driver out of Canada. Pace truck is exiting. We got eight laps to get this done. Making the crawl towards the flag stand. Jack hit in the 217 machine. Green flag is out. Field got a little bunched up there. 217 car will go down low. Terry Landis slides to the back of the field. Moves up in front of the 21. Contact made by your front three. Put the 161 of Terry Landis. The Hall of Fame induction uh, driver on the point in the 161 out of California. Kevin Fry, the only one that made it through that uh, early lap mayhem. We will go on board. Let you watch how it's done. Terry Landis pulling up into lap traffic, but he gets the win. That was a ride around uh, Williams Grove on his induction into the Hall of Fame night for the 161 of Terry Landis, your Heat 3 winner. Kevin Fry, Jeff Falero. It is B main time. Michael Vital, Josh Gerlock on the front row. Jack hit, Preston Cramner in row two. Mr. Bob the Good will roll off in the fifth and final starting position in the uh, D-May. Ten laps to get it done. This will settle uh, starting positions for the feature, which will be coming up uh, right after this. Stay tuned. Right after this, we have the 410 Sprint Cars back at uh, USA. So that should be a load of uh, action.
Again, the wingless Wednesday division uh, runs 360 sprint cars and midgets and is brought to you by the Coast to Coast. Just lost my train of thought. Coast to Coast Speed Shop. There you go. My apologies. Wednesday night, veterans and first responders brought to you by Icon Sim Sports, makers of the finest rig on the market. Each rig is handmade by owner Rob Neller in his garage. All graphics, all powder coating, everything is done in house. A pleasure going through the build process with Rob. Builds absolutely masterpieces. If you're in the market for a rig, check them out at uh, iconsimsports.com. Should get the green flag this time by. Got 10 laps to get it done to settle out the last few. Starting positions for the feature. Green flag is out. We are underway. Josh Gerlock in the 071 machine with a good run on that top side. Preston Cramner is going to try to follow. Jack Hitt once again makes contact with Vital. Putting those two to the back of the field. Bad luck for the 217 continues. Preston Cramner running a special paint scheme in celebration of the 161 of Terry Landis into the Hall of Fame. Kreit Sim Racing Rig, the 07. Bob the Good falling off the pace just a little bit. Josh Gerlock opening up almost a second gap over second place. The 07 of Preston Cramner. Good look at the 71 machine. Dizzy Motorsports driver Josh Gerlock leading the way here in the B main. Preston Cramner throwing the uh, 07 car in hard. Still a second gap between Gerlock and Preston Cramner. Will Gerlach catch uh, lap traffic on lap six of ten? Gerlach pulling up to the back of the 213, which throws it in almost backwards. Breaks the momentum of your leader. Michael Vital keeps the 213 car up high out of the way of Preston Cramner in the 07 and Gerlock in the 071. We are working lap 7 of 10. Looks like only three cars left on the track. Josh Gerlock leading the way. Preston Cramner in P2. All cars will go to the feature. Now over a two-second gap between Gerlach and uh, Preston Cramner with one to go here in the B main. 
Deer Lock just going by the flag stand for the victory. Cramner in P2. Mr. Bob the Good will round out your field of three drivers that were left at the end. We will go to three minutes of warm up. We will be right back. Welcome back. We are just wrapping up uh, warm up here as the uh, track is getting wore in quite a bit. Should be an interesting feature race. We got 18 drivers in the field. Blake Chapman, Steven Spees on the front row. Terry Landis, Brandon Templeton will roll off in the row number two. Clevenger Fry in three. John Short, Tyler Wilson in four. Jeff Falero, Mike Cramner in row number five. Jeff Barker, Dan McLaren in six. Josh Gerlock, Preston Cramner in row number seven. Bob the Good, Michael Vitale in eight. Jack Hitt will roll off P17 when we take the green flag. Again, Terry Landis with a sizable lead over Jeff Barker. Again, Terry Landis rolling off, uh, looks like third position. Barker will roll off 11. Brandon Templeton with a, can still get it done in the next two weeks. If he has a good night, rolls off P3. He is behind Jeff Barker. So we will see how that plays out. Up front, 55 car of Steven Spees for the 20 car. My apologies. Blake Chapman will take us to the green flag. 30 laps of action.
Get the one to go this time by. Blake Chapman in the Kright Sim Racing Team Driver in the 20 machine with Steven Spees Gambler Motorsports to his outside. Points leader Terry Landis side by side with third in the points. Uh, Brandon Templeton to his outside on the second row. Jeff Barker with some work to do as he rolls off in he uh, 11 or 12. You gotta find Barker here. Pace truck is off. We are getting ready to go green. It will be Blake Chapman bringing us to the green flag. Green flag is out. We are underway. 55 and the 20 at the front of the field. Steven Spees using that high line. Brandon Templeton going to follow the 55, but it is a 20 that holds the lead. Gets a good run off that bottom side. He slides up in turn three. Gives over the lead to the 55 of Spees. Spees at the point. Chapman in second. Templeton in P3. Terry Landis trying that bottom side. Gets into the wall. Kevin Fry, Kurt, Terry Landis, not sure what happened to Terry. We will check that one out. Looks like Terry behind the 31 car just gets sideways. Open tires grab that uh, outside wall and around your points leader goes. That's not what he was looking for. Put Terry Landis to the back of the field. That may open up the door for Barker and Templeton to uh, make up some points on your leader. Steven Spee still at the front of the field with Blake Chapman. P2, Templeton, P3, Kevin Fry, 4, Jack Clevenger in uh, P5. In the 78 machine. We should go green this time by. Again, Gambler Motorsports, Steven Spees at the front of the field. Will take us to the green flag. Guess we do have one more time around. Thought the pace truck would exit that time by, but it did not. Blake Chapman in P2 in Kreit Sim Racing team. Brandon Templeton in the Dirt Track Bank 31 car. Driver out of Iowa. We will go on board with Blake Chapman currently running in P2. See what kind of jump Steven Spees gets on the field. Lights are off on the pace truck. The pace truck does exit. Steven Spees slow pace towards the flag stand. 55 car is off. We are underway. Good jump by the 55 car. Good start. Templeton trying to slide it down low. Spees opens up over a almost half second lead over Blake Chapman. Now Templeton into the wall. Looked like the same place that uh, Terry Landis got into his accident. Brandon Templeton does the same exact thing. We will go back and take a quick look. Same place as uh, Terry Landis. Flip somebody there. Somebody went for a ride. Let's move Templeton to the back of the field. Jeff Barker up to P9. So he's looking for a good night. Maybe get some space between himself and Templeton. And close a little bit of distance on Terry Landis, who is up to, looks like, 14th. Up. Oh. 
Up front, Gambler Motorsports driver Steven Speeds leading the way. Blake Chapman in Kreit Sim Racing 20 machine, currently in P2, 21 of Kevin Fry, the thir the firm motorsports driver. 2-1 Race Designs owner is in uh, P3. Lights are off on the pace truck. We will be going green next time. Bye. Spees took over the lead early and has not uh, looked back. Had a couple of quick cautions here. Looking for some green flag laps. Pace truck is off. Speeds gets a good jump on that bottom side over the second place car of Blake Chapman. Looks like the entry to turn three has been treacherous on drivers so far tonight. Both Brandon Templeton running third in points and your points leader at Hall of Fame inductee Terry Landis. Hitting the uh, wall right before turn three. Looks like we got a group of cars here. That's not going to work out. Somebody is up, backed into the wall. Caution does come out. It's Kevin Fry up into the wall in the 21 machine. Not sure what happened to Kevin. Or if we're going to see it. Another single car accident. Fry just gets a little bit too loose going into uh, turn four. Working lap six of 30. So we have a long way to go. Check in on your points leader, Barker in P8. Templeton is in the pits. Terry Landis back up to P11 in the 161 machine. So he's not too far behind Barker. If Barker wants to get it done, he's going to have to hold off that uh, 161 machine. Up front with the 55 of Spees as we get ready to take the green flag on lap 5 of 30. Pace truck is off. 55 with a great jump once again on Kreit Sim Racing's 20 car of Chapman. There are your top three. Oh, your leader speeds up into the wall by himself. That will bring out another caution.
Beach just gets up just a little too high, catches the wall with that right rear tire. Over on his lid he goes. That will move the 55 to the back of the field. That'll move the 20 car. Kreit Sim Racing's Blake Chapman to the point now in the uh, 20 machine in the tribute car. Honor of Terry Landis entering the Hall of Fame. Lights are still on the pace truck. Should be going green this time by as the field will tighten it up. Chapman Clevenger, Short Cramner are your top four with Josh Gerlock currently in the P5 position. Don't forget, coming up next, we are back with the 410 Sprint Cars. Pace truck is off. Blake Chapman will bring us to the green flag. Great jump by the 20 car. Pulls out to a sizable lead over second place. Jack Clevenger. Clevenger with John Short on his rear tail tank. Preston Cramner in the 07. Currently running in P4. Josh Gerlock in P5. It's like we had somebody slow up there in three and four. Couldn't quite see who it was. There's a look at your top five. Cramner backs it in, and I don't know who he collected there. Not sure what happened to the 07 car. I'll go back and see if we can catch what happened. Just lost his momentum down low. Barker in the 513 makes it by. We are working lap 8 of 30. We got a long way to go. Blake Chapman at the front of the field in the 20 machine. Bill Clevenger to uh, his rear tail tank. Josh Gerlock in P3, up 10 from the beginning, from the start. Again, tonight is Coast to Coast Racing League's Veterans and First Responders Night, brought to you by Iconsim Sports. Check out their rigs at iconsimsports.com. The 360, the wingless class, brought to you by Coast to Coast Racing Speed Shop.
Looks like Jeff Barker is up to P4 in the 513. He is the uh, Terry Landis up to P6. So Landis uh, has recovered from an earlier incident. Barker needs every point he can get to close in on the uh, 161 of Terry Landis. We'll go on board with the uh, new Hall of Fame inductee. We're we'll right along with Kreit Sim Racing's 161 of Terry Landis. Now he is only one position behind Barker in the 513. Malcolm's Mills Mills riding machine. Terry working that car hard on the back stretch coming to the flag stand. Caution is back out. Looks like Kevin Fry into the turn two wall. Working lap 11 of 30, so we still have a long night in front of us. Blake Chapman, Clevenger, Gerlach, Barker, Landis. Jeff Barker, uh, currently second in the points, has one position between himself and points leader Terry Landis. Landis, the runner up last year's wingless division. So look at the 513 of Barker in the 161. We are back under green. Blake Chapman in the 20 machine gets the green flag, pulls out to a sizable lead over Clevenger in P2. Gerlock in the 071 machine in P3. Landis and Barker are going to battle it out. Terry Landis sends it in super hard into turn three. Steven Spees back up to P5 after going to the back of the field after an accident. Spees following Landis. Back in your top five. Out front, Blake Chapman by almost a second over Clevenger. Currently in P2. We will go on board with Gerlach. It's currently in P3. Working the steering wheel. Hear him on the throttle. Track getting super slick. You can hear the driver uh, working his throttle and yanking left and right on the steering wheel. Chapman almost a second gap over between himself and second place Clevenger. We're working lap 15 of 30. Clevenger slides up high. Gerlach going to try the bottom to get by Clevenger. He will at the flag stand. Move Clevenger up to P2. Clevenger gets up into the wall. Terry Landis uh, backs out of it. That brings out a caution. Looks like Brandon Templeton in the 31 machine catches that inside wall. Not a great night for the 31.
Blake Chapman still at the front of the field in the 20 Kright Sim Racing Yoohoo tribute to Terry Landis. Don't forget, coming up on the 26th of May, Cool Ray Coast to Coast Sim Racing third annual Toilet Bowl 100. This is to remember Wayne Pierce Field. Pro late model driver in the 34 machine, the leader of lap 34 will receive a $100 uh, iRacing credits. That all happens on May 26th. It will be pro late models. Pro late model dirt series will be a co-sponsor of that. Top three drivers will receive a Mr. Plummer trophy. Again, that's coming up on May 26th. One of the many special events that is put on by Coast to Coast Racing League. Lights should go off on the pace truck, and they do. Working lap 17 of 30. Blake Chapman still at the front of the field. Josh Gerlock, Jack Clevenger. Clevenger uh, run into a little bit of issues. Last green flag run. Great start by the 20. Clevenger trying a little lower line. Seeing if he can't uh, make up some ground on Gerlock. Gets a little loose down low. He's going to lose a couple positions. Not sure what happened here. See if we can uh, find the caution. It is Terry or Jeff Falaro who gets a little bit sideways there. And turn three and four will bring out the caution once again. Working lap 17 up 30, so we got a ways to go still yet before the four tens are back at it. Blake Chapman opens up a uh, lead, but got Josh Gerlock to the rear tail tank of the 20 machine. Clevenger P3, Terry Landis worked his way back to P4 in the 161. Steven Spees and Terry Landis uh, battling it out back there for P4. Speeds up high, Landis down low. It is Landis at the line by a nose. Speeds working the high line. He's going to make the pass for P4. Sets his sights on Jack Clevenger. Looks like Clevenger... 
gets into the wall at the flag stand. Just gets sideways, gets up into the wall, collects Steven Spees once again, and the 61 of Terry Landis is involved. So those two drivers might head back to the uh, back of the field. Not sure if uh, they will continue or go to the pits. We will see. Uh, we will go on board with Landis. Nowhere for Landis to go. He tried to uh, avoid that contact. Just couldn't do it. Steven Spees. Currently in the pits. We will see what happened. Uh, nowhere for Spees to go. Car just turned sideways. Gambler Motorsports driver. Blake Chapman still at the front of the field. We are actually running out of cars that are left running here. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like seven. Steven Spees and Landis back into the pits. Jeff Barker up to P3. So looks like it might be a good points night for Barker. But as we've seen, anything can happen. Working lap 21 up 30, so we are uh, getting down there. Right, Sim Racing, the 20 car of Chapman again will bring us to the green flag. Looks like Terry Landis might hang it up. No, he is back in the race. Blake Chapman up front. Josh Gerlock in P2. Kevin Fry trying to move past the 513 of Barker. Take away Fry back into the fence once again. The 21 machine. With a rough ride. You hear him off the throttle, but just rolls over. Blake Chapman still at the front of the field. Working lap 22 of 30. Like Williams Grove is not a great track for the wingless 360 sprint cars. Blake Chapman has led the, most of the race, started from the pole, lost the lead early to Steven Spees. Spees involved in a single car incident, giving the lead back over to Chapman, who has uh, stayed at the front of the field since then. Lights are off on the pace truck. We'll go green this time by.
Looks like we have eight cars left on the track. Or on the lead lap, my apologies. Pace truck is off. Yes, it's Blake Chapman, Kreit Sim Racing. 20 machine. Barker slides it down low. Jeff Barker now put Barker up to P3. The 513 Marine Machine up to P3. Could be a great points night for him as Terry Landis is running P8. Up front, Chapman battling it out with Josh Gerloff. Dizzy Motorsports driver Gerloff trying that bottom side, seeing if he can't get underneath the 20. Gets up high, dangerously close to that top wall. Trying to close in here on uh, your leader. We will go on board. Working lap 25 of 30. Blake Chapman with one second advantage over the driver that we are riding on board. Gerlach trying to keep that 071 car down low. Tough task here at Williams Grove in the 360 sprint car for sure. 513 of Barker currently in running in P3. Steven Spees back at it in the 55. Front to the back, to the front, to the back, and he's headed back to the front. Gambler Motorsports driver trying to uh, make that pass. Speeds up high. Barker down low. Speeds with a good run off the top side. Barker is able to hold P3. <clears throat> up front. Chapman with the lead. Over one second. Over second place. Josh Gerlach. Steven Spees now up to P3. Terry Landis back in P7. So Barker finishes in P4. Could have a decent points night. We are coming to the one to go. It is Chapman up high. Gerlock down low. Gerlock up 11 positions from the start. Chapman working the high side. Gerlock working the low side. It will be Chapman at the line. Gerlock in P2. Steven Spees will round out your podium. Jeff Barker, second in the points, will bring it home. P4, Kevin Fry, Bob the Good, and the Hall of Fame uh, inductee. Terry Landis will bring it home. P7. We will get a word with your podium finishers here momentarily. As they line up for their podium shots. Blake Chapman, Gerlock, and Steven Spees are your uh, top three. We will get a word. Waiting on uh, Steven Spees to come up into the booth. We will get a word with him. Steven Spees, Gambler Motorsports driver, went to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back, and worked your way back up to a podium. Steven, this is Joey. Got me? Man, what a night. Uh, it seemed like that took about a week to get that done, but uh, you were you were hot, man. You ran it, like I said, back to front, back to front, back to front. Uh, How did it feel from the seat? Uh, overall, it felt pretty good. Uh, you know, I kind of stepped on it uh, all on my own early there on one of those those restarts and going back into three and four. I, I went in a little bit hot, hit the brakes. It got tight on me, and 
tried to get it to turn and just got a little bit of right rear in the fence and over I went. But uh, luckily there's long caution laps here and I got to tow and stay on the lead lap. So, you know, it's this, uh, probably my favorite car to drive on the service. So um, it's always enjoyable. Uh, I hate the attrition we had and the cautions we had, but it's still fun to, to get out and run these. I wish I was uh, able to run the this weekly, but I've got another league commitment that uh, usually takes me away, but glad I could make it tonight for Terry's race. You know, yeah, man, what a great night for uh, Terry Landis for sure, and thank you for uh, for uh, pointing that out. Great, great night for him. Great race. I love uh, driving the wingless cars, but they are definitely a handful as we saw tonight. Uh, but you put the 55 on the podium in the Gambler Sports uh, machine. You got anybody you'd like to thank? Yep, always have to say uh, shout out to the Gambler teammates. Um, always fun to race with. Um, and we always have to say thanks to Cool Ray, uh, Andy Pierce Field, and, and all of his team over there and, and everything that he does for uh, this and other leagues around there. Thanks to all the people that put time and effort, uh, yourself included, into supporting C2C and giving us a good place to race and something to uh, watch back afterward. And uh, also always to all the folks that do tune in and watch us. Thanks for doing that. We appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to see you in the four tenths. No, I think I'm probably done for the night, but uh, there's a chance. We'll see. Yeah, man, you got to be beat. So uh, if not, we'll see you next time. It's great watching you run. Uh, go to the back, to the front, to the back, to the front. It's a great run by you, my friend. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Joe. Yes, sir. Moving up 11 positions from his starting position, the 071 of Josh Gerlock. Josh, this is Joe. You got me? Hey, Joe. Yeah, I do. How's it going? Hey, man. Uh, first, I got to know what Dizzy Motorsports is all about. <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. Um, it is uh, it is just my team that I, I'm a part of. Uh, Nick Cohan, I think, is the uh, the proprietor of that. So um, we'd have to, to get with him. It's a, a good question. Yeah, man. Great run by you. Uh, it looked like uh, you moved down low to try a different line than Blake there late. Uh, you think if we got a long green run, you would have had anything for the 20 machine? Yeah, we were actually just talking about that, funny enough. Um, I went back and looked because it, it felt in the car that, uh, like when I would do that little cut down line out of four, that kind of hitting that moisture and staying out of the slick on the straightaway, that I was carrying a lot of speed. And it, I, I actually was. I was about eight mile an hour faster. And I was hoping that I could get to him to try to slide him going into one and, and break his momentum and, and, you know, try to stay in front of him. But yeah, like I said, unfortunately, we just had too many cautions there and, and it was tough to get in a rhythm and, and even kind of figure out that that line would work until we had like three to go. Yeah, man, great run by you. Again, up 11 uh, positions from the start. You got anybody you'd like to thank for your podium finish? Yep, I do. Uh, thanks uh, to C2C for putting this on. Uh, I, I used to run here quite a bit, and just uh, with, with scheduling and whatnot, I haven't been able to get back here as often. Uh, hopefully that changes here in the next couple of months. But I uh, want to congratulate Terry. I know it's his uh, induction night, so that's, uh, that's really cool. Um, he's always been really nice to me whenever I've run over here, so congrats to him. Um, Thanks to uh, to my boys over at Dizzy Motorsports, like we talked about, uh, they uh, they help me get uh, better every time we hit the track. And uh, I want to thank AlwaysRaceDay.com, Netcode Esports, and uh, you for uh, putting on the broadcast, Joe. Yeah, man, great run, brother. And uh, again, I hope we see you more often. Uh, that was a great run from the from the back of the field to the front. So, uh, hope to see you again soon, and uh, have a great night. Thanks, you too, buddy. Yeah, man. The 20 car of Blake Chapman started on the pole, lost that lead to the 55 car early. Uh, 55 ran into an incident in turn three. Blake, this is Joe. You got me? I got you, Joe. Man, are your arms tired? Yeah, I feel like they'd be a lot more tired if we uh, could have some green flag uh, lap runs there. But, man, I'll tell you, I just got these things today and about about 30 laps in before I uh, hopped in to qualify tonight. and. Just trying to learn how to drive these things and i learned a lot just probably from watching terry and his heat race and i just realized you know you just gotta go balls to the walls and just send it in there and every turn pretty much and i'll tell you i was not prepared for that and after a couple laps it seemed like jeez i didn't need a break you know but it was a lot of fun i just love how you can just throw these cars into the corner yeah, as long as you can get them to stick. We saw tonight uh, numerous cautions where uh, we couldn't get them to stick, so uh, that led to uh, led to a long night. Uh, you got anybody you'd like to thank for your victory? Yeah, first and foremost, I got to give a shout out to Terry Landis. Congrats on his uh, induction to the Coast to Coast Hall of Fame. He definitely deserves it. He's a great guy, and I wish we could have put on a cleaner show for him tonight. But I'm glad I could come out here and get the win for him as his 
teammate. Uh, of course, I got to give a shout out to Preston at Epsilon Sprint Raps for doing raps for all the guys tonight, making us look pretty good out there. Uh, of course, my parents, grandparents, everybody who watches and supports me. And of course, Galen's Gourmet Popcorn, head over there. Use code CARD at checkout. That's code C-A-R-T at checkout. You get 15% off some of their delicious popcorn. And got to thank you for putting this on, Joe. Yeah, man. Once again, the 20 car of Blake Chapman, and I got corrected by Roger early this week, and I do sincerely apologize. It's Kreitz Sim Racing. Uh, so great run by you, man. Uh, I feel like we talk uh, more often than I talk to my wife. So uh, <laughs> uh, many times that you're on the podium. So great run by you. We're going to see you in a four tenth. Uh, you just might. Uh, it depends on what teammates are running or not. and might hop in there. All right, man. Good luck. Great run. And uh, we'll see you next time you're on the podium. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, man. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There are the wingless. We are running a little bit behind schedule, so we will cut to a break and get to the 410 sprint cars here as quickly as possible. Thanks for tuning in and stick with us. <laughs> Good day, Roger Craig here from the Coast to Coast Racing League and uh, just wanted to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate uh, Terry Landis on his induction into the Hall of Fame. Uh, so well deserved. Terry was our, our first champion in the first season of our league. He's been a great ambassador for the league, always willing to help out whenever asked and uh, can't be happier enough for uh, an individual. So uh, enjoy your night, buddy. Uh, and uh, good luck uh, taking on all competition with that wingless 360 out at the Grove. I just wanted to take a minute to uh, acknowledge my teammate, Terry Landis. I know it's your Hall of Fame night, so uh, congratulations. I know uh, you, you really deserve this. I know you spend a lot of time, you know, practicing and all those different things. But more than anything, you've taken a lot of time to help other drivers and help your teammates and just generally be a fun guy to be around in our league. And, Everybody really appreciates you. So uh, from our team and the league and just all the other drivers, we just wanted to say thank you. So congratulations, buddy. Hey, Terry, G-Man here. I just want to congratulate you on your entry into the Hall of Fame. You're a great racer, a great help on the track. You've helped me uh, a lot of times. So again, just congratulations. Take care, man. Congratulations, Terry. May your midget be always fast and your bus be in the shape of the infield tractor tire. Good luck and congrats Gary on your Bill Calder here. I just want to congratulate you on your induction into the Coast to Coast Racing League Hall of Fame. There's nobody that deserves it more than you, my friend. You've been a good teammate, a great friend, and you're always willing to help whenever you're asked. Uh, there's no one that can run that inside lane better than you, my friend. You, you wrote the book on it, and many have tried, but uh, you own it. There's nobody is ever going to surpass you and your ability there. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Um, congratulations and uh, much love. Congratulations, Terry. You earned it, big dog. I'm from uh, Gambler Motorsports. Uh, congratulations on your Hall of Fame induction, buddy. A uh, very cool thing to have happen for you. Uh, we're all excited for you. And uh, well deserved and uh you know one of our first champions in c2c uh you paved the way for guys like me to come into the league and be a part of it so thank you for that and uh we look forward to seeing you on the track hey terry congrats on being inducted to the coast to coast hall of fame definitely deserve it i uh, just want to hop on here say thanks for helping me out whenever i hop in the midget uh, i know i'm learning from the best so um I'm coming for you, though, this Wednesday, non-wing 360s at the Grove. I know you're going to be fast, but I'm still coming for you, man. I uh, just wanted to say congrats again, man. Definitely deserved it.
Welcome back. We are at, uh, back at USA in the 410 Sprint Cars. The big boys taken to the track here at uh, USA. We are running a little bit behind, but uh, we'll get caught up. Had some great racing here so far tonight. Let's take a quick look at the points here. We've had tight points battles everywhere. Looks like tonight, uh, Jeff Barker. We've heard that name three times in two runner-up positions. Now uh, leading the points by uh, 2019 points over Gary Landis in the 410s. Let's see if Barker, yeah, the 513 car is with us, as is the 161 of terry landis practice has ended we're getting ready to go great uh qualifying here we will uh, follow the first car out on the track which is john rayner jr in the 302 machine can-am racing team driver Jeff Valero in third in the points. Kevin Fry fourth. Bob the Good round out your top five in the 410 Sprint Car Division. See the 302 John Rayner Jr. driver out of Canada out on the track. Can Am Racing Team. The 18052 Preston Cramner. In the 07, Kevin Fry now in the 21 machine with a 17,584. Last race winner, Blake Chapman with a 17,519 to the top of the board. We are following along with the double zero here. Nick Vickery up to P4. John Short in the 51 machine out on track. Crete Sim Race, Crite Sim Racing. My apologies once again. Currently six quick with a 17, a 748. John Short up to uh, fourth quick with a 17, 575. Jeff Falero in the 200 machine. Driver out of Canada. Currently eighth quick with a 17, 770. See if he can improve on that time. Coming to the flag stand for his second lap. Falero up to P2 with a 17.520. Awesome Relad just finishing his run. 14th quick. Jeff Falero. That will round out qualifying. Blake Chapman, the uh, wingless 360 winner at Williams Grove, puts it on the pole with a 17.519. With your qualifying quick time, the 410 Sprint Cars brought to you by 2-1 Race Designs. Your leader in the points, Jeffrey Bart. I don't see Jeff. I saw him in the field. Jeff Barker. There he is. Uh, no, he's not. Jeff Barker doesn't look like he took qualifying laps yet. Terry Landis did. We are set up for Heat 1. Nathan Aldrich, John Short on the front row. Kevin Fry, Blake Chapman in row 2. Jason Sams, Jeff Barker in row number 3. Mike Cramner, John Rayner Jr. in row number four. So your points leader will roll off P6 in this heat race. In the 513 Marine Machine, they do invert the top four here at Coast to Coast Racing League. So your quick time qualifier, Blake Chapman, will roll off P4. Nathan Aldridge, John Short, and Kevin Fry in front of him. It will be the 514 of Nathan Aldridge that brings us to the green flag. 
driver out of new york john short to his outside in the kright sim racing machine kevin fry in the 21 the firm motorsports driver also the sponsor of the 410 division in the 2-1 race designs Got eight laps to get it done. Top four heading to the feature, although everyone will head to the feature. Lights are off on the pace truck. Aldridge will bring us to the green flag in the 514 machine. Pace truck should exit this time by real long straightaways here at USA. Waiting for the green flag to come out. The green flag is out. We are underway. Nathan Aldrich at the front of the field. He's going to cut it down low. 21 car trying to go even lower. Gets into the 20. Puts Chapman into the wall. At the exit of turn two, John Short throws the 51 down low. Bright Sim Racing Machine takes over P1 in front of the 514 of Nathan Aldridge. Kevin Fry in the 21 machine up to P3. Jason Sams up to P4. Jeff Barker, your points leader in P5. There are your top five riding along with the points leader right below us in the 513 Marine Machine. Looks like Kevin Fry up there is about to put some pressure on Nathan Aldrich for P2. Fry down low. Gets underneath the 514. They are wing to wing at the mid back stretch. Fry getting that bottom to work. It's going to slide up in front of Aldrich in the uh, 514 machine. Give Aldrich P2. Working lap 5 of 8. Up front, John Short leading the way in the 51 machine. Followed by Kevin Fry and Nathan Aldrich. And Jason Sams are your top four in automatic qual uh, transfer positions. Fry with over a half second gap over second place. Kevin Fry working lap seven of eight, two to go. Kevin Fry mud all over his visor trying to track down your leader, John Short. Last lap, John Short at the point in the 51 Kright Sim Racing Machine. Kevin Fry, P2. Nathan Aldrich in the 514. P3, the 911 of Jason Sams is your fourth and final automatic transfer driver. P2, Terry Landis, Nick Vickery on the front row. Jack Clevenger, Jeff Falaro in row two. Bob the Good, Preston Cramner in three. Austin Merlot in the seventh and final driver. 161, the uh, Hall of Fame inductee Terry Landis will begin heat two from the pole with Nick Vickery to his outside. Jeff Falero will roll off P4. He was your quick time qualifier in this heat. Jack Clevenger in the 78 machine will roll off P3. Good looking Spartan racing machine on the outside of Terry Landis in the double zero, Nick Vickery.
And watch the 200 of Falero coming from that fourth starting position. He was your quick qualifier in this group. Double zero of Nick Vickery is going to be hard to get by, as usual. Up front, the 161 Hall of Fame inductee Terry Landis will roll off from the pole. We'll bring the field to the green flag. Lights are off on the pace truck, getting ready to go. Eight laps, top four heading to the feature. Again, everyone will go to the feature. Pace truck is off. Terry Landis will bring us to the green flag. Driver out of California in the Kreit Sim Racing team. Nick Vickery to the outside. Great jump by Vickery. Looks like Jack Clevenger was going to stick it in there. Jeff Falero now putting the pressure on the 161. It is a battle for the fourth and final transfer spot. Victory opens, opens up a big lead. Preston Cramner now going to challenge Clevenger. He wants that fourth and final transfer spot in the 07 machine. Jeff Falero gets underneath the 161, gets a little bit loose, coming off, gives the P2 back to Landis. The double zero Spartan machine is set and sail up front, working lap three of eight. Terry Landis and Jeff Falero looks like they're going to battle it out. Jack Clevenger in the fourth and final transfer position. So the 07 of Preston Cramner will try to recover, make a charge at the 78 machine. Go on board with Falero as he tries to dive down underneath Terry Landis. He will stick the pass. Landis trying to return the favor. Landis goes down low, getting underneath the 200 of uh, Falero. It's like Falero will have the preferred line at the exit of turn two or turn three or four. My apologies. Nick Vickery with over almost a second gap over Falero. Landis, Jack Clevenger are your four transfer drivers currently. Working lap seven of eight, Nick Vickery up front in the double zero Spartan ride, leading the way. One to go, Jeff Falero in P2. Falero not closing the gap too much. Landis and Clevenger going to battle it out for P3. Clevenger dives it down low. Can't get the bottom to stick. Landis will hold on to P3. Clevenger will be the fourth and final transfer driver. Nick Vickery and Jeff Falero will finish 1-2. Be main. Jeff Barker, your points leader, is on the pole. Austin Merlot to his outside. John Rayner Jr., Bob the Good in row two. Mike Cramner, Preston Cramner in row number three. Blake Chapman rounds out your field of seven drivers. Expect the 513 Marine Machine to run a safe race here. Everyone will make it into the feature. Barker currently has a 19-point lead over Terry Landis. 
So every position is going to count for the 513. I wouldn't expect Barker to uh, take too many chances here in the B main. The triple nine to his outside of Austin Merlat. Ten laps to get it done. This will set the final positions for the feature. Right, Jeff Barker's got his flannel on inside the uh, 513 machine. Race truck should exit this time by. We've got 10 laps. Watch that 20 car coming from the back of the field. Kreit Sim Racing, Blake Chapman. Pace truck is off. Taking the long crawl to the green flag. Green flag is out. Looks like the nine, triple nine got a little bit of a jump on that outside. And we'll take the lead. Running that bottom side well. Barker in P2. Bob the Good in the 7 machine is P3. Blake Chapman in the 20. Up three positions from the start to P4. Preston Cramner has fallen back to P5. John Rayner Jr. and Mike Cramner round out your field of seven drivers. Up front. Austin Merlot gets up into the wall. Driver out of California. Can-Am racing team behind him in the 513 of Jeff Barker. Can-Am teammate Bob DeGood in uh, P3. Blake Chapman from Kreitz Sim Racing in the 20 machine all over the back of the 7. Working lap 5 of 10. Seven gets up into the outside wall. Will the totalize on that? 20, Blake Chapman down low. Move Blake Chapman up to P3. Awesome or lot. Set and sail. 0.9 second lead over second place, Jeff Barker. Blake Chapman's got some work to do if he want to catch, wants to catch those two. Here's a look at your top five. Preston Cramner now goes underneath the seven car on lap seven of ten. Field pretty spread out at this point. Cramner pulls back up to the rear tail tank of the seven. We'll dive it down low. Side by side. Zero seven will slide up into P4. Meanwhile, up front, the triple nine with uh, almost a second gap over Jeff Barker in the 513. One lap to go. Two turns to go for Austin Merlot. We'll take the B main victory. Merlot, Barker, Chapman, DeGood, and Kramner at the line. Kramner will take uh, P4. 
over Bob the Good. Great race to the end by those two drivers. We will have three minutes of warm up, so we will be right back. Welcome back. We're about to go feature racing here in the 410 Sprint Cars at USA Speedway. John Short, Nick Vickery will start on the front row. Kevin Fry, Jeff Falero in row two. Nathan Aldrich and Terry Landis in row three. Jason Sams, Jack Clevenger in four. Austin Merlot. Jeff Barker in five, Blake Chapman, Preston Cramner in six, Bob the Could, John Rayner Jr. in row number seven. Mike Cramner will roll off 15th in the final starting position. Bright Sim Racing, John Short will start on the pole with Nick Vickery to his outside. Hall of Fame inductee Terry Landis will roll off P6. Jeff Barker, the current points leader, 
We'll roll off around 11 or 10 or 11. Can't tell which. Terry Landis can make up some points in this one as he rolls off quite a few positions in front of Barker. Green flag is out. John Short will bring us to the green flag. Great start by your front row. Short down low will be able to slide up in front of the 200 of Vickery. Vickery with a good run off that top side, however. Kevin Fry in the 21 is going to use the bottom. He's going to slide up in front of Vickery. Kevin Fry up to P2. Nick Vickery in the double zero falls back to P3. Jeff Valero makes contact. Valero and don't know who it was. They make contact at the exit of turn four. Looks like Valero just hit the bumps at the exit there of turn four. Running that earlier this week. Those bumps are treacherous up there. And they bite Jeff Falero. John Short at the front of the field, however. Barker, Kevin Fry up one, Nick Vickery in P3, Nathan Aldrich in four, Terry Landis up to P5, Jeff Barker up three positions in the 513, up to P7. Kevin Fry in P2, Nick Vickery in P3 in the double zero Spartan ride. Nathan Aldridge holding steady in the 514 machine. Fifty one of John Short at the front of the field. <sighs> Terry Landis enters back in uh P fifteen. Clevenger, so he got into there. Jack Clevenger back in P fourteen. Pace truck should exit this time by. Twenty-one car of Kevin Fry is going to try the bottom side underneath Short. Can't get it to stick that time by. Short covers the bottom this time. 
Kevin Fry and short out to a lead over. Kevin Fry with the lead. My apologies over John Short. Kevin Fry running the bottom, short running the high side, working lap six of 30. Nick Vickery falling back to P3. Top two putting some space between themselves and Nick Vickery. Terry Landis in P4. Awesome lot in the triple nine up to P5. Nathan Aldrich falls back to P6. Jeff Barker holding in P9. Looks like he's going to try to make the pass on the triple nine and we'll get it done. They make contact. That sends Marlott into the inside wall. Kevin Fry at the front of the field, working lap 9 of 30. John Short in P2. Kevin Fry, John Short, Nick Vickery, one, two, three. Terry Landis up to P2. Currently second in the points. Barker back in P8. Terry Landis trying to round out his Hall of Fame induction night. A great finish in the 410 sprint cars. Close a little bit of that points gap on Barker. Pace truck is off. Fry in the 21. Great start over the 51 of short. <laughs> 51 coming at you as is the 21. Working lap 10 of 30. Fry Short Vickery are your current podium drivers. Barry Landis running a good race. Colton back in P4. The triple nine of Merlot up to P5. Four positions from his starting position. Bright Sim Racing's Blake Chapman up five from the start. Austin trying to go down low, get underneath the 61 car. Terry Landis brushes the outside wall at the exit of turn four. Blake Chapman now coming into the picture. Chapman trying to move up into the top five for the first time tonight. 
Kevin Fry with over a half second lead. Terry Landis in P4. We're watching the 161. Gets up into the outside line. Wall makes contact. That will put Terry Landis in the back of the field in the 410 sprint cars. Working lap 14 of 30. Kevin Fry, short victory, still one, two, three, triple nine of Merlot up five positions up to P4. Blake Chapman up six to P5. Kevin Fry at the front of the field. Fry currently fourth in the point standing. So Kevin Fry looking to move up with Jeff Valero out of the race. Jeff Valero down nine laps. Fry looking for a good finish and a good points night here in the four tens, sponsored by uh, his business. Two one race designs. Kevin Fry, pace truck is off. We'll bring us to the green flag. 51 of John Short closes up tight to that rear tail tank. Working lap 14 of 30. Fry to the point. John Short, P2. Nick Vickery in the double zero Spartan ride. Awesome. lot up five positions from the start. Trying that bottom line, making it work so far. Look like Blake, Blake Chapman hit those bumps at the exit of turn four, upset the 20 car a little bit. Vickery able to hold off the triple nine machine. Caution is back out. Not sure why. It's like the 200 and the 70. Jeff Falero, Mike Cramner get tangled up. Kevin Fry at the front of the field, working lap 15 up, 30, got plenty of time.
Hmm. Pace truck should exit next time by. Hey, truck is off. Kevin Fry once again. Great start. 51 of John Short in P2. Victory in P3. We got a battle right here between these three. Merlot. Jack Clevenger back in the mix. Clevenger now moves up. Gets by the triple nine. 20 car a uh, Blake Chapman dies down low. Clevenger after an early incident up to P4 in the 78 machine. See him working the steering wheel on that high side. Blake Chapman in the 20 car move Blake up to P5. Got a battle for the lead between Short and Kevin Fry. Short on the high side. Looks like he may have got into the fence there a little bit. Able to stick it on that high side. Put Short to the point. 21 of Kevin Fry. It's not going to give up. Trying that bottom side. Nick Vickery following uh, Fry or uh, Short on that high side. Select like the high side is the preferred line currently. 21 car not getting a much drive off that bottom side. John Short opens up almost a second gap between himself. Nick Vickery now into the wall. Giving the P2 back to Kevin Fry. Great battle by these two drivers. Go on board with Vickery. Hear him inside the cockpit working the throttle. He has moved up to P2, getting by the 21 of Kevin Fry. Jack Clevenger in the 78s coming on that high side. Blake Chapman in the 20, up six positions from the start, up to P5. Does anybody have anything for John Short, who opened up almost a second and a half gap over the double zero of Nick Vickery? Kevin Fry. P3, Jack Clevenger closing in in the 78 machine now. Twenty car Chapman tries that bottom side. Can Kev uh, Nick Vickery close that gap between himself and uh, John Short? John Short with a 1.6 second advantage over the double zero Spartan driver. Kreit Sim Racing 51 machine of John Short at the point. On lap 27 of 30, Nick Vickery, Jack Clevenger. Kevin Fry now is going to try that bottom side. Will he slide up? That was going to be tight. Clevenger. 
just inches from that outside wall. Fry tries a slide job. He loses a position to Blake Chapman. Now the 20 car in the mix. Kreit Sim Racing's Blake Chapman up to P4. Going to battle it out with uh, Jack Clevenger in the 78 machine. Up front, Nick Vickery cutting into the advantage uh, down to 1.1 seconds. Working lap 29 of 30. Looks like the race is going to be right here for the final podium position between Clevenger, Chapman, and Fry. One lap to go. Victory has that gap down to less than one second. Can the double zero reel in? Oh, Victory into the outside wall. Will that slow him down? Half second gap. Short Victory Clevenger are your top three. Great run by the 410 Sprint Cars here at USA International Speedway. We will get a word with your top three podium finishers here momentarily after they get their uh, podium shots. So we will be right back. Jack Clevenger in the 78 machine moves up five positions uh, from his start. Got into an earlier incident with the 200 car of Jeff Falero. Was able to recover. Drove the 78 back up to a podium finish. Jack, this is Joe. You got me? Yeah, I got you. Hey, man. Great run in the 78 machine. Looks like you got that outside working for you, and you were able to make some passes there uh, later on in the race, uh, how did it feel from the seat? I started going pretty good there on the, the initial start and made some contact there with Jeff. He got hit that hole and bounced off the wall there and kind of got me, but uh, just kind of got to be patient and go where they are at that point. And so that's what we did and let her hang out a little bit. Yeah, man. Uh, so given that incident, uh, it looks like uh, you and Chapman and Fry were battling it out for P3, uh, given some extra laps. You think you had anything for Vickery or Short at the from the field? You know, I think maybe if we'd have got another restart, but once you get strung out here, it's kind of hard to reel guys in from too far back once it gets slick and all that. It kind of equals out top and bottom. It's just got to be patient, but yeah, I don't think I was going to catch those guys at that point. Yeah, man. Great run by you. Again, uh, you went uh, up five from your from your initial starting positions, move to the back of the field, then work back up to uh, podium finish. Great job by you. You got anybody you'd like to thank? I uh, just thank all the guys at uh, Redeen Racing and you guys for the broadcast and coast to coast for the host. Yeah, man, there you have it. Uh, finishing P3, the 78 car of Jack Clevenger uh, battles back from uh, an earlier incident in the race and puts the uh, 78 on the podium. The double zero of Nick Vickery ran up front all night, started to reel in the leader in the end, uh, cut a second and a half gap down to a half second. Nick, this is Joe. You got me? Yes, sir. How are you? Man, you know what? I love that car, first of all. That, that's got to be one of my favorite cars uh, anytime I see the uh, Star Spangled double zero Spartan ride. Uh, good run by you, my friend. Uh, how'd it feel from the seat? Yeah, it was, um, you know, the 410s is always a wild ride, and, you know, I was kind of unsure how it was going to go when I came into this, and then, um, you know, I got into the session earlier and, and set quick time quick time in practice, and then as guys come over from the race earlier, um, you know, I started falling down the list, and I'm like, oh, great, you know, it's not going to be a good night, but I was able to get a good start in the heat race and uh, had a good start for the feature and didn't gain or lose anything, so I definitely can't complain here in the 410s. Yeah, man, you kept you kept it up front. Uh, again, you were reeling in. John, you think you had anything for him? Another 10 laps? No, you know, me and John were talking in the waiting room, and, and I asked him, I'm like, hey, man, did you uh, were you running the safer line there then? And he was like, yeah, because I, I didn't have anything for him. You know, and, and even Kevin, you know, I think if, if the bottom had stayed the way it was for a little bit longer, I think 
Uh, Kevin definitely had a shot at winning this race too. He was he was killing it on the bottom. Yeah, man, great run by you, my friend. You got anybody you'd like to thank for your uh, podium finish? Yeah, definitely got to shout out Spartan Racing, um, Cool Ray, Miriam Machado Spa, VMR Raps. If anybody there needs a rap, come check us out on Facebook at VMR E Raps. Uh, my wife let me do this. Roger Preston for keeping everything together, and then of course you put on a great show. Look, I need to get over there on Friday night and come hang out with you sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we'd love to have you as a co-host. Uh, we're always open for that, for sure. Uh, VMR Raps, man, I got, I got a, a special shout-out for you, uh, taking care of our team members. Uh, we're not even sure what our team is anymore called, but uh, greatly appreciate, man. I might need a new uh, late model wrap, so I'll have to uh, check out VMR and throw some cash your way. So uh, great run by you, man, and uh, that is an open invitation. You'd like to co-host a Friday Night Lights uh sit back and have a beer instead of uh cranking on that wheel uh we'll have to make that happen yeah it definitely sounds like a good time we'll uh we'll get together all right man congratulations all right, thanks Joe. yes sir john short starts from the pole does not give up that lead uh opened up uh, over a second and a half gap over second place victory at one time uh victory able to reel in the 51 car john this is joe you got me I got you, Joe. How we doing? Good, man. So what's the secret? You got that 51 car out front, and you checked out on him. Uh, we were just talking to Nick about uh, him getting that lead down to about a half second there uh, later on. Did you change your line? How did it feel from the seat? Uh, it, it felt pretty good. I mean, for high racing setup, the car felt pretty balanced. Um, really early on i was kind of searching i know in warm-ups it was kind of middle uh was where i ran fast laps so i thought i'd try that and then kevin went by on the bottom so um ended up trying the bottom on the one restart stay with him and then was able to rail the top um just found a, a different gear up there um being able to grab some more of the cushion and and be able to get off the corners a little straighter so uh once I figured that out was able to kind of check out there for Know, 10 12 laps and then um i was a little concerned going into it whether we had enough fuel in the car um based on i racing setup so it was uh checking gauges and checking lap times and stuff and <laughs> ended up uh, kind of letting nick reel me back th in there at the end because i was playing a little safer trying not to wreck the car once i saw that i had a little bit of a gap so yeah man great run by you i think this is the first time i've talked to you on the podium uh I know you finish on the podium more time than not. So uh, great run by you, man. You got anybody you'd like to thank for your victory? Yeah, we don't get to come out here very much. Uh, just busy during the week, but had some tech issues the last few Mondays. Um, so wanted to test out some things, the changes we made. Um, and just got to thank Preston uh, a lot on my team, Preston Cranmore, for helping me out with some of the advice. And uh, Jesse Bandy gave me some t few tips as well. So thank those two guys for allowing me to get back out. We went through two races tonight without any issues. So that's uh, a step in the right direction. And uh, obviously got to thank Kreitz Sim Racing guys. Um, a lot of fun racing over there with them. The Galen's homegrown popcorns on the car. Um, it's really good popcorn gourmet stuff that comes from uh, North or South Dakota. So go get yourself a bag, and if you use the uh, code CART uh, CART, you can get yourself 15% off. Um, Got to thank you for putting on the broadcast, uh, and uh, thank my wife for allowing me to do this. And uh, just wanted to give another shout out to Terry Landis tonight. And I know uh, in the non-wing it was this Hall of Fame induction. Uh, we're super proud of him as a team, and uh, just overall great racer. So it's great to uh, uh, put a couple of the KSR cars on the on the top step of the podium tonight just to kind of give a tip of the hat to terry so um and i think that's all we got yeah man yeah, what a what a great uh, tribute to uh holland fame induction uh the the paint schemes in the wingless sprint cars were second to none uh we were actually i was talking to terry in a in an interview and uh he wasn't sure what was going on he knew he had a special paint job coming so that's what we were expecting and then the whole team showed up with uh Terry Landis paint job. So what an amazing night for Terry, man. What a super great dude and uh, and a, just a great night all around as it is usually for Coast to Coast Racing League. So uh, congratulations, man. And uh, hopefully we see you more often. Yeah, we'll see if we can get out here a few more times. But thanks again, Joe. I appreciate all the accolades and 
uh, yeah, just a shout out to Preston for those uh, paint jobs. Uh, he did a killer job giving all the different Yoohoo brands or flavors or whatever it was. So, um, but yeah, it was great to to match out there. It was pretty cool. Yeah, man, super cool. Have a good night and a uh, great win. So there you have it. There is your winner of the 410 Sprint Cars, John Short in the 51 Kright Sim Racing Machine. Uh, puts it in victory lane. So for Wednesday night, Icon Sim Sports Veterans and First Responders Night, that does it for Wednesday. Appreciate you spending your Wednesday, Wednesday evening with us. Uh, Coast to Coast Racing Network will be back on the air again tomorrow night. And uh, we, uh, Got Your Six Racing Network, will be back on the air Friday night for Friday Night Lights on the Coast to Coast Racing Network. Again, a big shout out to Terry Landis. What a super guy. And uh, it was great to share this mom mom moment with him, his induction into the Hall of Fame. I wish you all a great midweek. Appreciate you spending your Wednesday with us. And we will see you next time. One, two, three. <laughs> I love it, Molly. They say it's a matter of time. A thousand days and the sun won't shine before I come back to you. For your love, I will go far. I wanna be. I know I'm coming back for you. Brother, it's good to see you. My love is a river long, the best ride in a million rounds. I know I'm coming back to you. And I'm happy, nothing's going to stop me. Ah. Stop me, I'm making my way home, I'm making